Hey, hey, y'all, we're live. Happy Thursday. We are ready for our Christmas in July sale today. Happy Thursday. And we're live. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's had a great day. We're going to give it a couple of minutes for people to come on, but we are super excited to have a live sale today. And I am excited that Beth from Dragonfly Attic is going to do her live sale debut with me tonight. Yay! Dragonfly Attic is going to do her live sale I hear myself. Okay. Turn it down. <laughs> now you'll be able to see what the um, the lag is like. So. Right talking like this and on the other end it's about a sometimes a 10 to 15 second lag. It's about 10 seconds yeah which can seem like forever yeah <laughs> hey hey michelle it's beth squared yay um, beth, beth carolina princess sweet treats and pretties and beth dragonfly addict and um beth is on youtube and instagram i did the uh pulled your name out of the glass bowl. And I was like, man, she's not on YouTube. Wait, she's on YouTube. No. I am YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm all over the place. There you are. And you have an Etsy. I do have an Etsy. Sometimes Etsy. I do eBay. Okay. I couldn't remember. I knew that you had one, but yeah. I couldn't remember. So, um, we are going to let a few other people hop on and then we will talk about the, rules, which most people that have uh, been to live sales already know. Um, and we each have 20 items tonight, correct? Yes. Yes. And they are all Christmas items. And soon people will be sick of Christmas because there's been so many Christmas live sales. Mm -hmm. um, so we will take turns. We're going to do our sales in sets of, I mean, our items in sets of five. So we will do four rounds of five. Hey, Janice Stevens, I see you. Thanks for um, hopping in. Hey, Robin, nice to see you as well. Robin Summers is here and Miss Janice Stevens is here. I am waiting for Janice and I's schedule to get cleared so we can meet up and bring in because um, Janice, I have been trying some new places. So I've got some new places for us to go. Um, and so we should be good to go soon. All right, again, this is Beth, yeah, this way, this way, from Dragonfly Attic, and um, she is actually in Georgia. So Beth from, this Beth is shipping from Georgia today. This Beth is shipping from Texas today. Um, hey, Mama, how are you? She's raising her hand and waving. Bella Rose is my mom. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Um, I know I have been shopping without you, Miss Janice, because I have been doing a thriftcation, which I said today in one of my intros when I was filming that this thriftcation may result in a thrift restriction because I've been, I d try to do it like a vacation where you do something fun every day while I was going to either the new spots that I found or an old spot that I found, like every day every other day for like a week and i'm tired y'all <laughs> i'm tired you're gonna run out of room um yeah probably but i have a show coming up in november and um it's our big fall show and we've got to fill like a 10 by 20 space and have it just jam packed in there for about eight hours um and last time y'all I'm just going to say that I had like 36 linens, like doilies and linens and all that. And they opened at nine by 1030. I had two left. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm here till five o'clock. So uh, I was a little nervous. Hell yeah. Janice has been shopping in California. That's pricey, mm -hmm. right? Their, their prices are kind of high. That's what I've um, heard from my friends in California. So um, again, Beth from Dragonfly Attic is with me tonight and we are doing, each of us has 20 items and it is all Christmas. It is a Christmas in July and she is going to go first, but before we start, we're going to say the same thing that we always say, which are rules that are also posted in the comments, um, not the comments, but in the description of this video. 
um, as well. So if you claim an item tonight, make sure that you send us your first and last name, your complete mailing address, including your zip code and the state, because I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know the zip codes. Um, and make sure that you send us your PayPal email address. And if you remember, make sure to um, put in the items that you got. We are both keeping a paper copy. Um, I'm old, so I like paper copies. I'm old too. Don't Best worry. Enjoys the paper copies. So um, we're going to keep a, a record of who claims what. We will not be able to combine what you bought from her and what you bought from me, of course, in shipping. But if you buy multiple items from her, she will combine that in shipping as well as I will. Um, also, the buyer pays shipping. So please note that um, we the shipping is not included in the price. And y'all... Y'all know that if you buy something, you have to pay for it, remember? <laughs> so, but we know that things come up all the time. Um, there is some concern that there is a little bit of foolery here and there, um, but we know things come up, especially in this time of illness or everybody's like falling down or something has happened. So if for some reason we invoice you and you're not able to send us payment right away, then just email us. Um, our emails are down below each of our pictures and let us know. Uh, we will definitely work with you. Once an item is claimed, we will invoice you. Now, I will probably wait until after my sale on Monday to invoice unless you guys want me to invoice you now. I am having a jewelry in July sale with Dolores. Hey, Dolores from the UK, Miss Damn Jewelry. And so that's a sale today on Thursday and a sale on Monday. I'm perfectly content sending out your information and your invoices now. Um, and if in the event you won't be coming to the sale in on Monday, but if you want me to hold it, make sure you put that in your email. Beth, when will you be sending out invoices? It'll be over the weekend, um, probably Saturday. So we usually do like a three day. Now, some people like Michelle, Michelle Newton can, and Christine, they can get their stuff done in like 24 hours. I can't do that because after a sale, I need a nap. <laughs> So, I have a full-time job, so I got a... Yeah, and a kid. And, and a four-year-old. Yeah. And a four-year-old. So um, look for her invoices and my invoices over the weekend, um, unless you tell me not to invoice you until after the jewelry sale then I will hold that for you. But again, we each have 20 items tonight. She is going to go first and she's going to show five items. Each item will have a number and a price. The first one that we see on our end with the correct number for that item is has the opportunity to claim that item. And so again, all the information you need to send us is in the pinned comments at the top. Um, Yes, Christine, that's because you can get those. You heard your name because you can get you and Michelle, you can get your invoices done like 24 hours after the sale. I don't even think Michelle, one of her last sales, she was done before the next morning. I was like, oh my gosh, how do you do She's that? She's an overachiever. Yes. Um, Dolores' mother said, you, Dolores. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely from the South. So we've got some, um, oh, Janice said, yes, the prices are high in the antique stores in California. Oh, flea markets, flea markets, there you go. Again, make sure that you are in live chat. Um, <laughs> look, Michelle, uh, make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. That includes me and the other Beth, because sometimes I'm in top chat and I mess things up. So um, yeah, it's jealous. It's not judgy. It's jealous because I can't do that very much. So if without further ado, if there's no questions, then I'm going to turn it over to Beth and you're going to be on full screen. Okay. Okay. Um, she's like, yay. This is her first sale y'all. So she's please be nice to me. She will be fine. She'll <laughs> be fine. All right. You'll be great. All right. So a lot of you don't know me, but one of my favorite things ever in life is purses. So I'm going to start with a purse. We have a question already. Do you ship to the UK? I can. You use pirate ship, correct? I do use pirate ship. So my very favorite thing is purses or one of my favorite things. So I found this and I just fell in love with it. 
Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's quilted. I don't know if it's, I'm going to go with it's not handmade, but it's adorable. It would be so cute for Christmas. Little parties, get togethers. But look, you open it up, and inside it has a matching wallet. I think that's so adorable. Now that's festive. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And if you just carry it just from like right after Thanksgiving until Christmas Day, and it's got the little credit card slots slots here, place for a checkbook that nobody carries anymore, some bills that nobody carries anymore. <laughs> um, but they match. It's fairly deep. It's definitely going to hold your cell phone. It's going to hold the wallet. Um, there's two little pockets here on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but I just fell in love with it. I actually want to keep it for myself. Hold but, it. Um, my husband told me I have a hundred purses. I don't need another one. Hold it up a little bit so it'll go over your tagline, your email. Yeah. Let me see. And it has stra the short straps on it. It does have the short straps. Um, it can kind of go over your shoulder, though, if you can all see that. Tuck in. Yeah. So it's good if you want to go shopping with it because nobody can get their hand in there and take your wallet out. It is, let's, got my trusty tape measure here. Um, it is about mm, eight and a half inches deep. So it is fairly deep and about 10 inches across. So it is fairly big. Christine said it would make a great lunch kit too. It would. I thought, it, see, now I could have used that against my husband. I could have said, no, it's for my lunch. <laughs> so um, the purse with the matching wallet is going to be $12. And it is number 76. Ew. And Janice Stevens says it's insulated. <laughs> Um, because not it's, really, but you know, I mean, you have to make an argument. You can put a sandwich in it. It doesn't need to be cold. Right. Okay. So that's my first thing. Okay. Um, let's see what else I have here today. I have, and I think, um, somebody, some people might've saw this in my video when you did your challenge. I bought these snowman sugar and creamers. And now these I know are not old. I know these are probably 90s, which at this point is probably vintage. That's going to make me feel old. Get it a they are super cute. Get it a little closer to the camera piece. There you go, so they can see what it, it says. It says, we can build a snowman. There you go, perfect. Um, They're not marked. Neither one of them are marked. Now, I did do... There we go. I did do a little research on them. Couldn't find out who made them. Um, but I did find them other places. So they're not homemade. Because originally I thought they might be. But they are super cute. Um, let's see here. This guy is four inches tall. And the sugar bowl is a little bit smaller. But I have got the pair of these. And I, the other thing I thought about these is you could put these on a table and put a plant in each one of them. Little poinsettias in them, something Christmassy. Oh, that would be cute. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a coffee drinker, which I don't know how you couldn't be. Um, so these are going to be $9 and they are number 53. Nine dollars, number fifty-three. Love you, some y'all, and he'll come in the door in a minute. Yay! <laughs> and hello to vestments and a vintage. I'm sorry, I missed you just a few minutes ago. So I found this. Um, they actually have a bunch of these. I picked this one out because she's kind of my favorite. But she is um, a 1994, and that year's kind of special to me. I'm not gonna tell you why, but it'll give away my age. <laughs> so um, she's beautiful, and she is a Boyd's Bear angel. Her wings. She's got such great detail. I just love her. And on the bottom, it's got her 
numbers. And she doesn't have any chips or cracks. Oh, the sugar and creamer too. They didn't have any chips or cracks. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, they're beautiful. But she doesn't have any chips or cracks either. I love her little basket down here. You can see it's filled with stars. Oh, that's sweet. That's what I thought. I think that's why she's my favorite. So anyway, she is going, um, she is $6. Oh, and she's number 41. Any, you can get the number in. It's great. <laughs> I need you to tell me if I need to slow down or speed up. No, nope, you're doing great. Okay. So next. I have these tins. They're not marked again, but it is a set of three nesting tins. And I think what I like about these is I think these will look cute in a display. So here's the smallest one. And the small one is going to be um, about four inches, four and a half inches. That's the smallest one. And then we have the medium size one. They all have the exact same picture on them. Y'all, I can see my camera, but I feel like it's moving. I don't think it's moving unless I think I'm moving. <laughs> um, this one is five and a half inches. And I love that it's a very old looking scene. The clothes that they have on, they've got the actual candles on the Christmas tree. Let's see if you could see those. Oh yeah, the little red ones. Mm-hmm. I remember my grandma telling stories about her mom in Germany and they would put real candles on a Christmas tree. And I thought that was crazy. I still think it's crazy. Well, it is, but you know, it sounds neat. And here is the last one. Here's the best picture of them. But they all have the same look. All the children are singing their little carols under the tree. So, and this one goes inside. But I think that would look really cute in a display. And they stack nice, so they're really easy to ship. Filled with candy, yes. Yes, filled with or cookies, cookies, um, anything else we're not supposed to eat. Fudge. Fudge is my favorite Christmas treat. Mm. Um, and this one is going to be $6 again. And it's the set of three. And that is number 67. We want to welcome Eads. I think I'm saying that right. She said she got married in 1994. And Sylvia Calloway, thank you guys for joining us. And my mom loves your antlers, by the way. Aw, thank you, Mama. <laughs> no, we have an antique mall. My favorite antique mall actually is closing. So your mom should come and go shopping. <laughs> She's a mess. <laughs> I found two shirts um, that are totally her style. And both of them, one was a Chico's and the other one was, I can't remember. I got it over here to mail. They're really expensive shirts, but they are like the linen kind. And she's always like, just send it to me. And I found them at the bin. So the last one. And it makes her happy. Yes. Makes her very happy. It makes her happy. Okay. So I think this is the last, I think I'm on five. So I have this bell. Oh, that's pretty I, I think it's a Lennox, but I am not a hundred percent sure. It just looks like a Lennox, but it works. And again, I think this would be really cute in a display. I think it would be look really cute on a vignette with some reds and some greens around it. And yeah. So, and this bell measures, um, it's six and a half inches tall to the top of the handle. I remember having a bell almost just like this when I was a kid. I think that's why I picked it up to start with. So, and it does say made in Japan on the inside. There's no chips or cracks. And this one is going to be $4 and it is number 77. And Miss Victoria Clark. Hey, Betsy. Hey, that's my sister-in-law. 
Well, we are glad that you could join us, sister-in-law. Yes, thank you for showing your support. And um, they're talking about everybody's bad weather. Christine is having horrible storms. She's sitting in the dark with bad thunder and lightning. And Dolores, they're actually having a heat wave. Oh, there's my sister. I just saw my sister pop up too. Yeah. Is that Jennifer? Jennifer, yes. yes. Um, well, welcome, y'all. And um, Dolores said it's like 87 in, in the UK right now, which is not oh. hot to us, but to them it is because nobody has AC. So right. um, they are burning hot here. So I'm going to switch over. It will be m my turn. And y'all, I have so much Christmas and went thrifting today and found some more Christmas. I don't know what, I just love Christmas. My first one is a little kitsch item. Um, it is a napkin holder. It's just got the little stockings and candy canes. Kind of looks like that quilted look to there. And it has a mark on the bottom of Quilted Garden Patch. And I think this says 1981. I know that you're not going to be able to read the, the year, but it's just a little ceramic napkin holder. Which you can I, hold the mail. It could hold the mail because we use paper towels, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it is going to be just $6. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It is to the back side. Well, first of all, I'm going to have to get the other ruler or do some addition here. That's going to be the one, two, three, four, about three and a half inches and about four inches, four and inches. And it is the largest piece is about four, almost four and a half inches across here. It is going to be $6.00. And it is number 11, $6, number 11 for the little quilted napkin bill holder. I do try to use napkins, paper napkins sometimes because paper towels are expensive. Yeah, they are. All right. And I'm the one that usually goes fast because I learned from Christine and Michelle. My next item is on the tree. So the goal is to take the stuff off the tree without breaking it. And Dolores said it would be cute to hold Christmas cards. And it would be cute to hold Christmas cards, Dolores. Good idea. That's why we keep you around. And Miss Patty said, hi, my soul. Hi, Patty. That's my soul sister. My next item is a set of two. These are wooden hand-painted angels. I'm going to show you the set of two, and then I'll show them to you up close. If I can get them up close, they're little faces. They've got stars, wings. They've even got some detail on the wing. They are not marked in any way. When I look things like this up, it says like, Norwegian, Hungarian, but who knows without it being marked. This one is a little bit different. This looks like more of a male figure, little angel. I don't know how clear that is coming across. Both of them have their wings and are in great condition. Here are their little faces again. If I can put them in front of my face, you can see them. And the set of two little wooden angels. Now on this one, let me show you that. I want to have that pointed out. See, there's a little tiny bit of paint loss right here on the back of her head. I'm sure he, she knocked into something. But the two little wooden angel ornaments are going to be $6 for the two. And they are number 32. $6, number 32 for the two Christmas wooden angels. All right. And you know it would not be a sale with me without a cookbook of some kind. And these are my favorites. I have actually been looking through these. This is the Southern Living, but this is the 1985 Christmas edition. Now, originally I picked these up. Um, they're by Oxmoor House. But originally I picked these up because of the graphic. And I just thought behind in a little vignette that would be pretty or in a little display. This one um, belonged to a lady in Richmond, Texas. But that's the inside cover. 
but these are a little bit different because this says the first part of this is Christmas around the South. And it tells us lots of the things about Christmas around the South, including your gardens. That's beautiful. It had any tips for these? This is at the Callaway's uh, scheduled special events at Callaway. It promises a memorial holiday for guests. Where is this Callaway thing? I'd have to figure that out. But look how vibrant those colors are. And look at those topiaries. Hi, Trisha, Miss Sandy and Otto. Um, they have some decor things that they're sharing. So the next part after that is, let me look at the index again. They have decorating for the holidays and they have Christmas bazaar and decorations or celebrations from the kitchen. So the decorations part, look how they tell you to stage. That's beautiful. I mean, that is a full tree, is it not? So they go from decorating tips and then they go to um, craft ideas. And I thought this one was really, really neat. These are those, I think it's copper punch um, what is, what are they calling it? Reflections of the home. This is tracing paper, copper tooling, uh, tooling foil. Yeah. And it shows you how to make it, but in the back, they give you like the design pattern. Let me see if I can find that. Go back. Now your mom said Callaway Gardens is in Georgia. Isn't okay. that right outside Atlanta? I think maybe I have no idea. Yeah. Your mom is saying it's in Georgia. That would be in Georgia. Okay. So here's the little house and you just, that foil, I've actually done a project on that copper foil um, and you, it's really easy. You just take like almost like a knitting needle, but it's a thin one and you can, or a pencil and you can outline it and they give you the ideas and then you just go in and do the punches, but it gives you a lot of craft um, ideas as well. And then it goes into all of the recipes. So it is Christmas in one book, but all of your patterns are in the book. All of the ideas that they share with you, even the cross stitch and needlework, they share the patterns in this book. So this book is going to be just $5 and it is number 17. And if this is the only thing that you claim, then this can go medium, but it is $5 number 17. It is a great book. I love that. All right. Did I miss anybody else coming in? Oh, their AC is broken. Oh, no, ma'am. But then again, I just bought a brand new AC. So then there's that. I see Janice Stevens for um, number 17. Make sure I'm right. And um, I do have other years of that book. Christine, I think you wanted a cookbook with your birth year on that, but I'll have to see if they have one of these Christmas ones for you. Thank you, Janice. All right, the next is a Christmas 10, and I'm going to show it, and I'm going to say to you, what do you see? So this is, it says, Merry Christmas to y'all, and to y'all a good night. And here is the stagecoach guy with Santa driving. And he's got some, I guess, reindeer. Not sure. They're kind of fluffy. They're fluffy. Not sure those would fly, would they? They've been in the fudge. Maybe. <laughs> but I thought that was a cute little graphic on there. And they're looking at him like, you've got to be kidding me, right? Um, and it is from Raz Imports. And it does say Made in Hong Kong right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But that yellow sticker says Made in Hong Kong. Let me show you the top. <laughs> Anybody notice anything? Rain cows is what Janice Stevens says. <laughs> oh, you want the 1984 one? Michelle, I probably have a 1984 one over there. But it is a tall canister. And, oh, I need another ruler. It is going to be about four and a half inches tall, and it is going to be about, no, that's five. I lied to y'all. Hold on. That's four and a half. I can't uh, subtract. And about three and a half across. 
Yeah, you see it, Nettie? I thought that was hysterical. Made in Hong Kong. But this little Christmas tin, I love the graphics on that, especially the rain steer, maybe. Not rain deer, <laughs> rain steer. Um, and Santa just thinks he's doing something good, don't he? But it is only $5 and it's number 28. $5, number 28 for the Merry Christmas, y'all. And it says, Merry Christmas to y'all and to y'all a good night. And this would be super cute to put um, sweet treats in as well. And I see Janice for that one as well. Thank you, Janice. Janice was asking me about the, uh, no, no, Christine, look at it again. <laughs> but Christine doesn't use this word. That's right. We're teaching her this word. Um, Janice was asking me about our um, jewelry sale that Dolores and I are having. Okay, the next thing that's my last five is a combo. And I really didn't want to give this up, but I, I have so many of these. This is a very large... Um, and I don't know what the material is. I'll have to look and see. I think it's a Better Homes and Garden. But this is for, this is going to be big. This is 38 by 59. Um, 1983 Christmas. Okay. And I'm going to show you the graphics first. But this is a tablecloth. And it is made out of, and I'm not, this is not going to be right at all. So just forget that I'm saying it, but it's the only thing I can think of. It's almost like a painter's cloth. And I know that it is Better Homes and Gardens, I believe, but it is really, really, really big. And it's, I believe it's rectangular, right? If it's 38 by 59. But this is the same pattern across all of it. So you get the really large if you have a large family or a large tablecloth and i'm looking for the tag because i've seen it about 12 times just today there it is it says 100 percent cotton and i've already washed this um with this tablecloth you are going to get a towel a tea towel to match and the tea towel is from crate and barrel it's a dish towel tea towel, dish towel. So for the snow, red snowflake tablecloth and the dish towel, it is $15 and number eight. $15, number eight for the two piece of the dining or well, it's one piece for the dining room, one piece for the kitchen. Um, it's not canvas. It says it's 100% cotton, but you know what, Janice? It feels like a paint drop cloth. Let me see if y'all can see the texture in that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a very sturdy material. Um, not stiff because it's been washed, but it's, it's not a paper thin material. No, it actually would make a good warming blanket. <laughs> All right. Okay. Christine, y'all stay safe. I know that it is, um, that it is storming there. So I am going to pass it over to the other Beth. Okay, so let's see what I have now. You know, she just did her tablecloth, so I have one also. This one, I believe, is homemade. I can't find tags on it anywhere. Um, it is vintage. You can tell from the look of the material. It is poinsettias. I'm going to get it real close to the camera so y'all can see it. Oh, that's... Can you see the big points out of there? Mm -hmm. I'll turn it around. Maybe you can see it a little better. It is beautiful. I love it. But I think it's homemade. It measures um, 70 across and 100 inches. Oh my this God. is for a big table. This is for your Christmas meal with your family table. This is, that's a Newton table right there. Yeah, this is, and, and I just, I can't tell you, I'm in love with this big poinsettia. It's all over. Oh, that I just love it. I love the colors of it. So I haven't found any stains. I did wash it. 
Um, but I didn't find any stains on it. It's in very good condition. My arms aren't big enough to hold it up. I mean, you can almost use that as like a bed cover, you know, like right. They, but you know how they put it over um, beds and things. That would be pretty. Right. So my tablecloth is going to be nine dollars, and it is number sixty-five. It's pretty. I fell in love with it. I. Hey, Debbie. I'll fold it later, better later. <laughs> okay. And my first, I have a bunch of ornaments, but my first one, I'm a dog person. Oh, look at there. You know, anybody that has a Yorkie who would need their pet on the Christmas tree because he is just adorable. Um, and he is, he's the Yorkie that's been groomed. I know a lot of Yorkies that do not look like this because that fur gets so matted and, but he's just beautiful. And this would be great if you know somebody who had a Yorkie that had passed away and they want to memorialize their pet. And this would be a way to do it. Mm -hmm. Just hang that on the tree and your dog is there every year with you. He's, let's see here. He is two and a half inches across. So he's, he's pretty long. But he is going to be $4, and he is number 55. Our animals all on the tree. I have all of our animal ornaments on the tree still. We have on our Christmas tree every pet's initials, and we have the clear ball ornaments with pictures of them in there. Oh, cool. The ones that have passed away, and then every, every pet that gets added because... I think I'm a pet collector. Every time we every time we add a new rescue dog, we, we make them one. That's okay. So I have this. Oh, I, I have a thermos. It is an Aladdin thermos. I think again, this is something for a display. This is an Aladdin thermos. It's in perfect condition. You know, I don't know that it's ever been used. It just, if you can see in there, it looks beautiful. Where's my camera? Yeah, I found one recently, too, that has a great plaid in it. But mine has a little bit of black and yellow. So this one's really pretty for Christmas. No, this is, this just screams Christmas to me. Put this some needs, berry around the bottom. That would be so cute. Mm-hmm. This needs to be in a display. And you can put, a like, a big candle, a chunky candle in it. That would look pretty. I really think that would be a good thing for it. But if you want to use it, you could. It's got all the, its parts. It's even got its soup cup still. So it is the plaid tartan. And it is going to be $12, number 45. That's good. Yes, don't forget thumbs up. We have 26 people watching and 16 thumbs up. Okay, now I saw you had this a couple weeks ago. So I have one too. I have this little teapot. Yes. Um, apparent, and I was doing research to try and figure out who made it because it's not marked. And what I found was um, it is by a company called Houston Harvest. Yes. And it comes with a creamer that I don't have. Yeah. But I, I do have this, and let me tell you, I didn't even realize that was Santa Claus there when I first got it. Yeah. I didn't realize. Mine sold. Yeah. I did not realize that Santa Claus was there. Um, so I was thrilled when I realized. I just thought it was a cute little house. But now I will tell you this one does have a little tiny chip there on the bottom. Uh, underneath the lid. So it's not going to matter. But it's right here. But other than that, it's in good shape. No chips or cracks. And again, I think this would be cute. Again, in some sort of display, you can put a plant in it if you don't want to put tea in it. I do drink tea, but I don't know that I... These are those little personal teapots. So I think it's just cute for decoration. Yes, Joan, Santa is lurking. He is. 
I'm not kidding. I didn't realize he was there for the longest time. And anyway, Santa and his teapot is only four dollars, and he is number sixty. Yes, the creamer is about the same size, and mm -hmm. then the jar that goes with this. Um, but after the sale, I took that that um, tea, what I'm calling a teapot, they're calling a creamer because it's as big as any other teapot and it, <laughs> it sold in my booth as soon as we dropped it off. So I think, I think it's really cute. Was that four? I need have one more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now this is another, um, another handmade thing. That's my other thing besides purses. I love handmade things. There's just so much personality to them. Um, so this is a tree skirt. This is absolutely handmade. Let me show you. This is one side of it. Oh, so pretty. Um, and it's got the lace at the bottom. And then this is going to be the other side. So you can decide if you want candy canes under your tree or this red and green. Let me get a little closer so you can see it better. The pattern. I like that pattern a lot. I think it's really pretty. That's like a quilted. It's it is. It's quilted. Um, and then it's got the ribbons to tie it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have I have one that my mom's best friend had and I still use it. Now I do now this one does have a stain on it that I was not able to get out. Um but that's okay. You can just turn that to the back and put a present on top of it. There you go. Doesn't matter, easily fixed. So um this is let me measure it because it's not very big across. And I know some people like huge tree skirts um did no. you just lose me no we see you oh because i don't see you anymore i'm here um, so it's about 18 19 inches to the end of the lace so 18 19 inches deep yeah so let me figure out how to get you back on my computer because i can only see you on my phone now we see you just like normal. There you are. You're back. I must have hit a button. Okay. Sorry. Technical difficulties. I'm old. I don't know how to operate this newfangled stuff. So, um, like I said, it does have a stain on it. It's, it's a yellowing stain. I think it's probably from, um, they had it under a real tree and then they were, eh, we know how real trees are. So anyway, I, this is going to be $8.00. And it is number 64. That's a great price. Beth, the Dragonfly Attic is shipping from Georgia. That was a question. She is shipping yes. from Georgia and I am shipping from Houston. The Houston area, right outside of Houston. Yeah, I'm in Augusta. That was a great price for that. So I think that was five. Okay. So I'm going to move me over and get ready for a darling salt and pepper shaker y'all um this is called a stack of oh, i meant to get the other and you know what i have a uh what do you call this thing tape measure i'll use that this is called a stackable salt and pepper shaker and it is too cute i gotta sit it just right because i keep messing it up when i keep moving it it is a frosty the snowman I love him. It is a salt and pepper. So you can see that it is a little yellow there, but I think it's because the moisture of the stopper was sitting and if they had him on there, but is he not darling? And look at his little flower on the side. Oh, he's so cute. Now it looks like there was... It looks like there was a slight, it, it looks like there was a slight ding there, but it is black. Either they fixed it and I didn't see that. I mean, like, like we didn't know that they fixed it and it looks like right here, which I probably did that, but I can't tell if this is a prop, like, um, a chip or just maybe like it didn't get glazed or something right. Can y'all see it? It's right where my fingernail is. I don't know if you can see that. Can you all see that? Or is it? I can see it. Okay. So um, now he's not old or vintage or anything. He is just super dab cute. 
He is called a stackable salt and pepper. Both of them do have their stoppers in there. He is only going to be $6 and Frosty is number 14. $6 number 14 for the stackable salt and pepper Frosty. Okay. And oh, next is one of my favorite things. I love him. Santa. <laughs> um, this is a little wooden Santa. Originally, I can't lie, I bought Santa because I was going to take him apart and I was going to have a pattern, but too cute. He's a little jointed Santa. Um, he is handmade. He is hand painted. Look at his super cute face. And um, now I think you could probably put longer strings. This person tied ribbon on there, um, but you saw that I had him sitting on the edge of the tree. He kind of sits like this when you sit him on a shelf. Um, his legs don't come to the front. They come to the side. But how cute is Santa? Little wooden hand painted Santa, $8.00 number seven eight dollars number seven and that's probably about one inch thick plywood but i don't know if i could paint his face that cute i don't think i could get his eyelashes like that. i love handmade stuff it just has so much personality yes me too hi dana all right my fourth item is a um, piece of brass. I'm sorry, Christine had to go because of the storms. It is a piece of brass made in India and it is a Christmas wreath and it is a three candle holder. So here's the little etchings on that. And it does have three candle holders in there and the little round feet. There are three round feet to sit like this. The candles go here. It is in diameter. It is about five and a half inches uh, in diameter. And to the top of the candle holder is close to two and a half with it with its feet like this. So the little brass um, it does have a little weight to it. I'd say it weighs about a pound. I would guess. I could weigh it if somebody needs me to weigh it. I would think a pound. That would be pretty with some greenery and some red berries in it. Yes. It is $12, number 30. $12, number 30. Um, I don't know if that's considered an advent wreath. Mom, I don't know. Don't be asking me hard questions over there, Bella Rose. I don't... <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. That was one, two, three. My fourth item for this round is also on the tree. So our goal is to not, not knock the tree off. And this is a bit of elf action. Um, and this says, love is sharing, love is caring. And it is a little bell. Let me see if I, I've got the glare from the window because the sun is um, going down. But I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Love is sharing. Love is caring. And it's got two little elves on that. They have sweet faces. It says something went wrong. Try again. Are we back? Let's see if we are back. Y'all let me know if something went wrong. Um, Mom, they said Advent Wreath has four candles. So um, wanted to see. Uh, Christine's. Um, oh, and then to me is what uh, Michelle said. I just picked this tree up at the bin, y'all. Okay, good on my end, she says. No issues on this end. That just must have been me. But this little bell, it does ring, has a cute little ring to it. It had a sticker in here. It's by Love Talk. And it is fine porcelain. And I can't see where it's made because mainly I'm blind. Oh, made in Japan. Very fine print. Let me show y'all. I don't know if you can see down in here, but that's what I was trying to read. 
Mary Jo says three purple and one pink. My elf bell is going to be $6, number 12. $6, number 12. And I'm glad y'all could see me. I don't know why that, why that went. And Mary Jo, thanks for popping in. So my last thing for this round, y'all, is the is a record. Now, when I went thrifting one time, I found all of these like Christmas records, old Christmas records, and I love them just for the graphics. This one is a 1987 and it's called Santa's Sack of Christmas Songs. But look at that graphic. Wouldn't that be so sweet? And the back of a display just propped up. Now, there is a record inside here. It does not have its jacket. The record is in really good conditions. I do not see any scratches to the record at all. Um, and this is a 33 and a third. It's got things like Santa Claus is coming to town, Frosty the Snowman, um, Silent Night. On the other side, Jingle Bells and Jingle Bell Rock and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, and then... It's got a finale of it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, deck the halls, and we wish you a Merry Christmas. But the reason that I bought it was not for the music. It was for the graphic. Um, and here it is again. This record is going to be $5, and it's number 23. $5, number 23. And that is my five in this round. Okay, so my next piece is going to be a Fitz and Floyd plate. I love this. It's 1992, made in Taiwan. It is um, the Christmas quilt. There's no chips or cracks. It's got the sticker and it's marked Fitz and Floyd on the back. Um, the plate is about nine inches and six and a half inches wide. Um, so it'd be perfect for you to leave some candies, um, leave it by the front door, drop some change on it. Put some cookies on that, wrap it in cellophane with a bow. It makes a great mm -hmm. gift. Some more fudge. So, um, my little plate is $12 and it is number 63. And the next thing I have, I have to tell you, I almost didn't buy it, but I fell in love with her. Um, and I'll tell you why in just a minute, but she is a porcelain angel and there's nothing incredibly special about her. She's got And I just looked at her and she reminded me of something we had when I was little. And I picked her up and I realized that the bird she's holding, the dove, has a broken wing. And I love country music. And there's the song, the Martina McBride song, about the angel and the broken wing. Right. And yup, and that's what this reminded me of. So I had to buy it. <laughs> it's crazy, I know. I had to buy it. Um, so I feel like she deserves a home and the happy bird deserves a home. They would look very cute in a display with bright colors around them. Anyway, our little porcelain angel with the broken bird wing is $4 and it's number 61. I just hate seeing things sit and look sad at Goodwill. <laughs> at the bins. It makes me sad. Okay, the next thing I have, I told you about how much I love homemade things. So this is a cross stitch. And if you don't want the frame, I will absolutely take it out. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it says Merry Christmas. And again, it makes me sad when somebody takes so much time to make these things. Yeah, that's a lot of work. And then it ends up at Goodwill. So I thought it needed to come home with me. Um, it is a five by seven, I believe. The cross stitch itself. Yep. Yep. 
So in the frame, like I said, I'll take it out of the frame. If you don't want me to ship the frame, there's nothing. They're asking, and, is it signed or dated? Or is that for the cross stitch or the the broken um, the broken wing dub? I think they're asking about the cross stitch. The cross stitch, no. Now I haven't taken it out of the frame. I'll oh. take it out right now. I don't care. Let's see. Uh oh, no, I won't. You know, break a nail trying to open it. Well, don't do that. <laughs> out, they can take it out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's signed. Like I said, it's. But it just says Merry Christmas. And it is going to be five dollars. Number 70. Five dollars number 70 for the cross stick. Mm -hmm. Michelle's given us all the cool lyrics to that song. Yes, Michelle knows the song with the broken wing bird. And Michelle claimed number 70, the cross. Oh, Michelle wants the cross stitch? Okay. I don't know how I would ever have known that, that she was going <laughs> to. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. All right, so I have a book too. Um, this one is A Woman's Christmas, and it's all about Victorian era Christmas. Oh, fun. Um, and it's a lot like the book you had where you open it up, and there's beautiful pictures on the inside all throughout it. And it's going to tell you um, it's got recipes. It's got, here's a William Shakespeare quote. What else would you expect in the Victorian era? Um, but it's got recipes in it and it's got places for you to write notes. Here it talks about how to make an ornament. And Michelle and her girls, I think they did one of those push pin ornaments with the little, um, like the, what do you call those sequins? And she said she would never do another one. It took them forever and her fingers were hurting. You know, I've seen people make those for wedding bouquets. Right. That's insane. That is way too much time. And oh, it'd be horrible. It would be a great keepsake though. But then I'd be afraid that somebody would take it to Goodwill. Yeah. So, and here we've got, it's got little ornaments in it. Like, you go through it, it tells you how to make a gift basket. And this is all, here's the song, Oh Christmas Tree, in words. Like, it, it's just beautiful. The book itself is from, it's not old. It is from, Jeff, I know. I just, ever, never again will she make that. And 1995. And Janice, so, and it is a Hearst book. It is from 1995, but it is the first print, but it's in perfect shape. Um, that book is going to be $4, number 52. Okay. And the last thing I have is something else that I had in one of my videos. So maybe y'all have seen it already, but I have... A plate. It's 1996, and it is Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Winnie the Pooh and his crew. It is. Um, this came from the Disney store. It's from the 90s. So at this point, the 90s is vintage, which makes me feel old. But that's okay. I own it. So um, it says Pooh's Winter Wonderland. It does say on the back. Uh, it's not intended for use with food. So this is just a decorator plate. But it's Winnie the Pooh. He's, he's so adorable. They're all here. There's no chips or cracks. It's in perfect condition. And I have the box that it came in also. It's the original box. And Winnie the Pooh is going to be $10. And he is number 46. I think that was my five. Thanks for coming, Debbie. Appreciate you stopping in. And we want to say hello to Catherine Young, who has dropped in. And here, Angela's vintage also here. 
um, tonight. So thank you for dropping in. And everyone is agreeing that they will never make one of those push pin things again. And I see Darlene Holgerson is number four. I see that also. I'll write that down. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Hope you're doing well. All right. Um, don't forget, if you're just coming in, Beth from Dragonfly Attic is shipping from Georgia. And I, the other Beth, Carolina Princess, Sweet Treats and Pretties, am shipping from Houston today. Um, oh, yeah. That's Angela Marksberry. Sorry, Angela. I was like, <laughs> how does she get to be a mod? I don't really know that name. It's Angela <laughs> Marksberry. She, got a, she even put it on Instagram. This is my new YouTube name. Don't freak out when you see it. I forgot Sorry, Angela. Um, is the is the one with the calendar and all of these t-shirt ideas. She's just amazing. Um, all right, so let's see. My next set is an old set of uh, Paul Mark. I couldn't remember the words napkin rings, and I don't know if they're Mel Mine Fake the Light. I can't. I can't tell. I can't tell, but they are the ones with the holly and berry. There is a set of four. Let me show you what they look like in the package. They are from Hallmark. Um, they did come in their original little sleeve here. Uh, they are very clean in great condition. The applique is not coming off of any of the four of those. This set of four napkin rings is a $5 in its box number 16. $5 number 16 for the Holly and Berry. I should have taken that off and shown it closer. Napkin rings. There's a set of four. Hey, Susical. Thanks for coming. All right. And Angela specifically put that on Instagram too. And I zoned out. Sorry. All right. Then I have um, two napkins. They are Christmas napkins. These are marked made in Brazil. I have them tied up with a little tool here. And let me open them up. You, they're getting two of the same. They have been washed and ironed. I did not see any um, spots or stains or yellowing or anything on them. And they ironed up so pretty, y'all. But look at the coloring on that. These are absolutely beautiful. And it says right here, made in Brazil. So there are two of these napkins. You will get both napkins tied up in a bow for $6, number two. $6, number two for the set of uh, Christmas napkins. That would look great with these napkin rings. Let's try them out because I didn't even think about that. How about that? Deal? <laughs> I should have thought about that. But look how pretty that looks. That's well, beautiful. That's, I didn't even see that. But yeah, those are great little. And it looks like it looks like the gold may be hand painted on there. So those are really pretty. I love those. Especially if you just have like a two two table top or a little dinette or like we have a little table in the kitchen and there's just the two of us. So that would be pretty there. All right. The next thing is I have a Hanukkah book and um, I thought this was really neat. And I have two Hanukkah books, actually. Um, both of them are really cool. This is from the 70s. I think it was a 71, could be wrong, 72 uh, copyright. And this is fun in learning about Hanukkah, game stories, puzzles, rebuses. And it's got some great graphics on the front and the back. And look on the inside, y'all at these little graphics. They're That's adorable. Um, but it's got, I looked through it. Um, I, I used to teach all of the holidays around the world. It talks about the great miracle. It gives them the story of the dreidel, how to make your own. Um, it also has a traditional story. It has a little quiz. It's a Hanukkah telephone quiz. 
Um, and then about why they're um, why do we light eight candles on Hanukkah? It has just a lot of different games and things in this little book. But I thought it was a great little vintage book for Hanukkah. And it is a 1972 Hanukkah book for $7.00. Number, number 34 for the Hanukkah book. I don't know what's wrong with this iPad. All right. And then I am one, two, three. I have a cup and saucer and it is up here. Now I just did a live haul on some of these. Oh, don't drop it off the tree. And these are some little hand-painted cup and saucers. This one is not particularly vintage, but it is super cute. I tried to find the ones with the most like red and green on there, but it does have a blue and, and it has like, a, I don't know if y'all will be able to see this, but it's like red and little green flowers there. It's a mini teacup and saucer ornament that hangs on your tree. It has the same graphic on both sides. It is, let's see. It is about two inches tall and it is about three inches across. And it is super cute. It is $6 and it is number 22. $6, number 22, and it will hang on your Christmas tree. We talked about, my mom had a Christmas tree that had a ton of them on there. Um, and it was really cute, like in the dining room. All right. And I see Miss Mary Jo for number 22. Thank you, Mary Jo. All right. And my next thing is a silk a silk embroidered handkerchief and I love him uh, he is from I believe Japan or no China I lied he's from this this thing that he came in says he's from China but he is a hundred percent silk I'm gonna show you he came in this little um, what do you call it little plastic thing I don't even think I opened it up but I'm gonna take him out because it is a little white silk handkerchief that has an embroidered Santa on that. Isn't he darling? He's a little wonky eyed, but, and I believe it's four by four. It is so super thin. It is really thin. Oh, I lied. Hey, four by four girl. That's 10 by 10. Peace. So it's only on one corner. So, so pretty. And he, it is a pure silk embroidered handkerchief and he is going to be $10. It is so thin y'all. $10 number nine. $10 number nine for the little silk handkerchief. I'm gonna leave him out of the package for right now. Okay, Michelle, we will, we will show what did not sell. She said the kids are bothering her. So that is my five. I'm going to turn it over to Bye. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So one of the first things I said is I love purses. So I have another one. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? If you're going out for Christmas to a fancy party, it's got the long chain, but it will fit a cell phone. It will fit the important things. It will fit your cell phone and it will fit a credit card. It'll fit your wallet. Um, the purse actually measures, it is seven inches deep inside. So, and it's can be a crossbody or you just use it with your dress. This would be beautiful with a black dress, with the little black dress. What is the material? on the outside um, of velvet or the ends no um i want to say that it's like a, like a silk yeah like a poly silk blend. yeah it's like a silk and then it's got all the bead work on it oh yeah i see it shining now yeah it's beautiful um 
So this bag is $10 and it is number 59. I don't know who makes it. I if, forgot about that. I don't I don't know who made it. There's no mark on it anywhere. What what was the handle? I mean, what was the strap? Is it beads or is it metal? No, it is a chain. It says just a silver chain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It reminds me. I always when I got this to begin with, I thought I could use it to go to a 1920s party. But again, you know, I have too many purses. <laughs> so I can't keep them all. All right. Um, next, I have. I was running out of room on my table, so I had to put stuff over here. Ugh. I have got a set of four coffee mugs. They are this goose. The this, number for the purse was what? The number of the purse was fifty nine. Ten dollars, number fifty nine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I have these adorable little goose mugs for your hot chocolate with Santa Claus. Um, the bottom of them is marked Holiday Goose Collection United Silver Cutlery Company. Janice Stevens picks up number 59. Thank you, Miss Janice. And I have got four of these. But I just thought they're very, again... I give out my age, but they're very 1980s for your hot chocolate with the goose. It's not the blue bowed goose, but it's a red bowed goose for Christmas. Um, there's no chips or cracks on any of them that I was able to find. And they are in good condition. They are smaller. I, these are the smaller coffee cups they used to make back in the day before people needed large amounts of coffee. <laughs> um, but the set of four is $10 and it is number 47. Michelle said them are some cute chickens. <laughs> They're not chickens. Well, you know. Feathered fowl. Feathered fowl, exactly. Let me write this down. Okay. And then this, now you asked me about my Etsy store. The only thing I put in my Etsy store is things I make myself. Okay. So I made this. So I have a latch hook Christmas stocking. Oh, that's cute. Um, during the pandemic, I was looking for something to do. And I remember doing latch hook as a kid and loving it. So I just started buying them and doing them. And I haven't stopped yet. So, but this is a Christmas stocking. He has a little reindeer. He does have, I do have two of these. So if you need a matched pair and they're huge, you could fit a lot of toys in these. Um, it looks like it is 16 and a half inches this way. The back is not latch hook. The back is just. Festive fabric. Festive. That's right. Anyway, in the inside, you can see all my stitchings. But these are what's in my, my Etsy store. <laughs> um, so my little reindeer latch hook with the little snowflakes is $12. And it's number 54. And like I said, I do have two of them. So if somebody wanted two, I could do two. Michelle must be punch drunk today. She's been up almost non-stop working um doing a lot of stuff her daughter she said it's a running joke in her family her daughter got mad when they corrected her about the difference between a chicken and a goose <laughs> he got running. i'm dropping things sorry it's okay i didn't break it <laughs> well that's better than what i did the other day we put i put it on instagram because I was sitting here showing something. I had just come in from the store. I pulled it, pulled one thing out and the other thing rolled. It was a little cute little egg and it hit this this tile floor and broke all over the place. I was so mad. I would have cried. Well, you I, saw when I post, 
Did you see when I posted on Instagram the little basket that I had shipped and the guy sent me a picture of it in like six pieces? Oh, no. I was devastated. Devastated. Yeah. I think Dolores was actually on Marco Polo with me and she heard it crash. And <laughs> it was a beautiful porcelain little egg and it had two little bluebirds on it. It was porcelain and now it's in. I just found another piece th yesterday or this morning. It was tragic, Aww. she said. It's okay. It was tragic. It was tragic. Okay, so next I have another tin. Let me see if I can get it closer so you can see the horse. Again, this is nice in a display or to share your cookies and brownies with the neighbors, all your sweet treats. Um, the picture on the front here, it says Terry Redlin. So that's the artist of the photo. Um, and it's, it was from Green's Fine Foods in Decatur, Georgia. Now that you can put, you can fill that up with fudge because that, that would be a good fudge tin right there. Big one. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I love me some fudge. And that is $4. Oh, and it was $19.90 is the date on it. And it is number 40. And then last but not least, I have a set of four ornaments. And these again are handmade. Let's see if you can see these here. There's a little Santa Claus. And each of these ornaments opens up. Oh, that's cool. So I would think if you had small kids, you can hide some change in there, a, a couple dollars, something for them special to find on the tree. So, but I have a set, there's four and they are not the same. They match, That's but they don't. They all open. And then this, there was a Santa and a snowman. This looks like just some packages. I love when people make special things. And I think these would be great. To, and even if you hide them on the tree, this is a difference. And tell the kids you hid something, go find it. How are they going to think to look in the ornaments? <laughs> so whoever finds it really earned it. Okay, so um, my post is missing, but the set of four is $10. And it's number 80. $10, number 80. And that's the ornaments. I'm sorry? $10, number 80 for the four. Yes. $10, number 80. And mine. And my I think that's it. Um, okay. Um, they're saying Sally and Catherine are saying that uh, Terry Redlin is from South Dakota and was huge in the Midwest when Catherine was growing up. Well, I'm from the Midwest. So, and I did recognize the name because I'm from right outside Chicago. Um, but I don't remember. I, I did recognize the name though. So. Was that your five? Yeah, that's my five. I'm, I'm good. All right. So coming up on round four, was that your, that was your round four. So that's, that's all of mine. Yep. Okay. Um, I have some salt and pepper shakers. They are just some simple holly and berry. And I thought they were pretty cute. They're, they're larger. And they have, hold on, y'all. I'm going to do this right in a second. This one has three holes. This one has two holes. They're not vintage or anything, to my knowledge, because they're not marked and they have clear stoppers in the bottom. But I do think they're very simple. It kind of goes with the napkins and the, the, the napkin rings. Um, it, it all looks really pretty together. So these holly and berry salt and pepper shakers are $6, number 18. $6, number 18 for the holly and berry pepper, salt and pepper shakers. Um, but yeah, those would look really cute with this. Ideas. All right, the next is a little framed picture, and um, I just really like this. Again, not 
particularly old, but I love what it says and I love the little bird. It's in a great red frame and it has joyful, joyful, we adore thee with that beautiful little bird on the holly and berry bush there. It has a signature on the bottom. It says Linda. And it looks like it was probably a pencil, watercolor, or pencil and marker. Um, but it does say Linda on there. The frame, I love the red color on that, is this is about six and a half by six and a half. It does have the hooks and everything there. It's a modern piece, but I just loved it. I just thought that was so pretty. And you could actually leave that up all year, but it is in the great um, Christmas colors. This is going to be $8, number 35. $8, number five. All right. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? Oh, the next one is a... I was like, where, where is this? The next one is a brooch and it was on my Christmas tree. I put this on Instagram. I saw that earlier. It's beautiful. Um, it's a little bit different. There's one that I saw that was like, a Elizabeth, I want to say Elizabeth Arden, but that's not right. But that they're not the same. So let me tell you what, um, what's different about it. So it's a gold tone on the back. So those could have been probably in the eighties, but it has a beautiful red ribbon, like a, almost like a silk, not silk, but like a real shiny ribbon. And it's got the white gems here, but the ones at the bottom, the clangers actually move and they're little dangling pearls. Now, not real pearls, y'all don't get excited. It's just a little costume jewelry, but these actually move and swing. So that is super cute. It does have the rollover safety C class. Michelle and I were looking that up the other day. Um, maybe enamel. Yeah. Yes, for the ribbon. So I want to put a piece of white paper behind it. Hold on before I stab myself and that becomes a problem. Um, let me show y'all. I want to put it like this so you can see. See how pretty that is? That is so pretty. Um, it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not super heavy, but you, it wouldn't be something you could put on something flimsy. But this is going to be $12 and number three. $12 number three. And it does measure from the tip of the bell to the tip of the bell, uh, two inches and tall it measures about an inch and a quarter miss belinda carol you were in the background back there i saw you i see you now thank you so much for coming i hope you're feeling better um and i see miss mary joe for the bell brooch and miss belinda we're gonna have some more uh christmas you and janice i think we're asking about christmas brooches uh but we have the jewelry in July sale with me and Delora. So I will have some Christmas brooches there as well. All right, Miss Mary Jo, I got you for the Christmas brooch. Um, the next is the last cup and saucer that I have. This one is bigger. This one is signed. This one is, um, it is a Don Noel cup and saucer. Um, it is on the back there, Don Noel, and it says, y'all, I cannot speak French, but I think this is French. Les Milior pour, I want to say vino, but I'm sure that's not vino since it's a cup and saucer. <laughs> but I just love this. Now, this one is bigger just for to show you the difference. Let me show you the difference. This one this is the smaller one and this is the bigger one. This one is bigger um, It has a little bit more weight to it. It has a little bit more intricate design to it. It is got the information on the back, but it has the beautiful blue bow and looks like red roses, reddish pink roses. 
there. It has the silver design. There is a little bit of design in the actual, it's not completely round is what I'm trying to say. You can see that it has a little bit of design where the bows are. The cup is bigger and the cup is taller. Um, this one is going to be about four inches wide and it's going to be about two and a half inches tall. So it's a little bit more substantial and it is, they, they did have these. I was able to find these. I love the little handle on that too. But this little cup and saucer ornament is $8, number 24. $8, number 24. I'm glad you're feeling better, Miss Belinda. You were in our little prayer group. All right. And the last thing that I have is another record. And this one is my ultimate favorite. If anyone has ever had small children, <laughs> you may have had this face. But this one is Dennis mm -hmm. Day singing. Christmas is for the family, and it's with orchestra and boys choir. But I did not, again, buy it for the music. I bought it for the graphic. That's fabulous. Look at Santa. He looks a little toasted. The boys are like, oh, me. Dad is ecstatic. Mom is like, somebody get me out of here. You've got to be kidding me. And why does she have seven children? That's <laughs> they're like all under what they look like they're all under seven, seven under seven. But Santa looks completely roasted. Now, is this not hysterical? Y'all, I thought this was hysterical. Now, the jacket cover the is a part, um, but it does have the little sleeve there. It does have the right record. Michelle taught me to look to make sure the right record was in there. And it is in great condition. If you would want to listen to this, I mean, it is hysterical. I think that that is Don in the Santa Cup. <laughs> it could be, Michelle. <laughs> um, this has got like the great classic, Silent Night, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, A Little Town of Bethlehem. It has six songs on one side and six on the other. The record is in absolutely fabulous shape and it does come with the sleeve. Thanks, Miss Jeannie. Oh yes, still praying for your baby Elizabeth. I hope she's getting stronger every day, her grandbaby. Um, but the record, it was the album cover that it's very mid-century modern. It, oh my God, look at her face again. Do you see mom's face? Look at mom's face. That is hysterical. And dad, he just happy like he's one of the kids. These kids are like, this one right here, the little baby, where is she? This one, she's not even paying attention. <laughs> Y'all, I died when I saw this. I was like, I have got to have this. But this little record here is $5 number 10. $5 number 10. I just had to have that. Janice says this girl, that girl, if she's got seven under seven, she needs a hobby. So I had to have that one because it was hysterical. So I think that that is my five. So um, Michelle has asked us to go back through. Um, oh, that's Kennedy not paying attention. I don't know. <laughs> She goes, this is truly her family. So maybe Dawn's usually the really, really happy one. Um, Miss Jeannie says that baby Elizabeth is four pounds, eight ounces. Um, and so Yay. she's, like, she's getting, getting better. She's getting better. All right. So um, are you ready to go back through some of the things that didn't sell? Sure. Okay. I cracked myself up. Okay. Right so first I had this purse. It's quilted with the ribbon. The ribbon goes all the way around. It's got the short straps. So you can hold on to your purse. And it comes with the matching wallet. The matching wallet on the inside has the credit card slots and the slot for your driver's license. And it was $12. 
for the wallet and purse. And that is number 76. Next, I had the sugar and creamer. So we can build a snowman. Let me see that. No ships or cracks. I again, I think they would be really adorable with a, some plants in them. If you don't want to use them as sugar and creamer, a little bristle brush. Christmas. Tree. Michelle picked up seventy six. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Um, and these are nine dollars. Number 53. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to fill it with Bath and Body Works stuff and give it for a Christmas present. That's a great idea. Good call, Michelle. Good call. Uh, somehow I'm out of order. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not, oh, you're right. Um, next, I had this Boyd's Angel. And Darlene has picked up 53. Thank you, Miss Darlene. Next, I had this Boyd's Angel. She was from 1994. No chips or cracks. She's got a beautiful starred basket. She's numbered and signed on the bottom. I don't, I'm not a big collector's piece fan, but I just I think these angels are beautiful. And this angel is only six dollars, and she's number 41. Okay, and next I had this bell, very sweet little bell. Let's see if I can get it up here. And it would match all of those things that Beth has for your Christmas <laughs> table. Um, it does say in here, made in Japan. I don't know if you can see that. My finger's in the way. Yeah, made in Japan. And the little bell is only $4, and it is number 77. Michelle said, do you need help with this one since we're going faster? She can help you if you need it. Please. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. And then this is a set of three nesting tins. I measured them out earlier. I think the smallest one was about six inches, but they all have the same design with the little boys and girls in front of the Christmas tree. And that's the smallest one. And then here is going to be the medium one. And... They all fit nicely into the large one. They all have the same design. Again, they would be perfect for display for cookies, fudge. And it is $6 for the set of three nesting tins, number 67. And that was, that was five. Okay, let's see what. Let's see, I'm going to start with my napkin holder that I had. This is by Quilted Garden Patch. It's around the 80s. It has the patchwork quilt type design on there, very kitsch. Um, it is a napkin or bill holder or whatever holder you want it to be. I don't think it would fit a taco though. I think it's too thin for a taco. So this napkin holder is $6, number 11. Dollars number 11 for the napkin holder. Then I had two wooden angel ornaments. They are also $6 for the set. Let me show them. They are, I didn't even measure them the first time. That's part of the problem. They are about three inches tall. I see Michelle for number 11. Thank you, Michelle. Um, these are three inches tall. They are hand painted little wooden angel ornaments 
what I am finding is either Hungarian or something like that. When you look these up, they have they are different. They are different designs. It looks like one may be a girl, one may be a boy, but I don't know if angels make a difference. Um, they have their little wings intact. This one did have a little bit of paint loss at the very top, if you can see that. What is wrong with this iPad? These are $6 for the set number 32. Six dollars for the set of the Wooden Angels, number 32. All right. Then, um, let's see. I had the Snowman Salt and Pepper Shaker. The Frosty Snowman Salt and Pepper Shaker. He is a stackable salt and pepper shaker. And he sits like this. He's got little berries and holly on his hat. The top is one and the bottom is the other. It's a stackable. They do, it does have its clear stopper. So again, it's not vintage or anything, but it is super cute. And I gotta get his hat to sit right. So here is the Frosty the Snowman stackable salt and pepper shaker. He is $6, number 14. $6, number 14 for the Snowman Salt and Pepper Shaker. All right. And I showed that. And the Wooden Santa. So one, two. Um, the Wooden Santa is too cute. Look at that face. But he was originally sitting right here on my Christmas tree, um, but he is a little shelf or mantel scent sitter. He will sit like this. Miss Darlene, I see you for number 14. Thank you. So he is about an inch thick of wood, hand painted, handcrafted. This little wooden Santa is, who is little dancing legs? Eight dollars, number seven. Eight dollars, number seven for the handcrafted, hand painted wooden Santa. And Miss Darlene, I see you for number fourteen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. Sorry if I'm shaking the table. And for my one, two, three, four. My fifth one is going to be the brass candle holder. Here's the brass candle holder that is wreath shaped and it has some etched design or carved designs in there. It holds three candles. It is got some um, brass footings on there. And again, it was about five and a half inches in diameter and about two and almost two and a half inches tall to the candle. And it is made in India. This would be beautiful with some red and red and green candles in there. $12 number 30, uh, $12 number 30. And, oh, I thought I had the box, but I think the box is all torn up and I threw it away. $12 number 30 for that. And I'm going to turn it back over to Beth. Do you have some more things to show? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, I have um, the handcrafted tree skirt. This was one side of it. And then let me see if I can get a little closer so you can see the pattern in it. That's one side. And then the inside, somebody tried to make a whole different pattern. And this is some holly berries. So you can see that pattern. This was handmade. It does have a stain that I was not able to get out, but somebody might be a better launderer than me. Um, this is going to be $8. It's number 64. And then I had the tablecloth. That 
that was 70 inches across by 100 inches long. So this is for that huge table that you have at the holidays. Let me open it back up so you can see the that was a pattern to it. You can see that pattern. It's beautiful. Um, that is going to be nine dollars, number sixty-five. I have um, the Fitz and Floyd plate still. Is Fitz and Floyd 1992? No chips or cracks. Um, it is nine inches long. Perfect for your Christmas cookies. And that is twelve dollars, number sixty-three. Oh, and then I had this Aladdin thermos still. Perfect for this vignette. It's in perfect condition. It doesn't really look like it's ever been used. It's in great shape. It is going to be $12, number 45. I miss Sue. Thank you for joining us. Um, was that five? I don't know. Was that, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Oh, and then I had the cute little Yorkie ornament. He is four dollars, number fifty five. That's five. And I see your Yorkie ornament. Uh oh. Um, I see your Yorkie ornament, and while the there is a man that walks a mastiff down oh. the street, and I'm like, holy cow! All right, let's I see. have big, huge dogs, so I don't know what I'd do with something that size. Yeah, I have. Uh, he was a hundred and what was Bailey mom? One ten. He had a 40, 40 inch wow, chest, four inch neck. He was a boxer. Oh, um, biggest couch potato. We called him Daddy. <laughs> Love. Um, the I have that beautiful set of um, I think that the gold is maybe hand painted that's on here, but it is a set of Christmas napkins that is linens um, that is from Brazil. They are made in Brazil. I want to show you the design of that. I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. And I believe that they were, I may not have even measured them the first time. They are 16 inches. So these are 16 inch napkins. They are absolutely beautiful. They are both the same. So they are a matching set. They are $6 for the set. And they are number two. $6 number two for the Brazilian napkin. And to go with those napkins, I had a set of the vintage Hallmark. I don't know if they're Bakelite, and I don't know if they're, uh, I don't think they're Melamine, Melamac, Melamine. I think, if anything, they're Bakelite. I see Miss Mary Jo for number two. I was smelling it to see if it smelled funny. But, um, but I've washed them now. So this is the set of plastic holly and berry um, set of four Hallmark napkin rings. And they are $5, number 16. $5, number 16. And Miss Mary Jo, I'll get you for these napkins because they have already been washed and ironed. And they'll come in this little cute tool. All right. Thank you, Liam. And sorry, I'm taking too long. Um, then I have the little elf bell that says love is sharing, love is caring. And there are, I don't, because of the window right here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that well. Let me try something. 
see if y'all can see that a little bit better. I think there's a glare on it. Love is sharing. Love is caring. It's a little bell. Does have a little heart shape at the top. I had it hanging on the tree is where I had it. It was $6, number 12. $6, number 12. Not all of it. We're going back through some of it, Carrie. Thank you for coming. I was just talking to Tiffany at Bowden Vintage about trying to get up a time where we can all go. Um, so let me see. I did the elf bell and I did the napkin rings. I'm going to do this holly and berry salt and pepper. Now, not vintage, but really cool. They are a little thick. And they, I have a lot of holly and berry stuff tonight. They are, again, about almost three inches tall. And they are about two and a half inches wide. They were $6. They are $6, number 18. $6, number 18. And how many is that? I did the elf bell, the napkin rings, the Brazilian napkins. I need to do one more. Um, I'm going to show you again. Oh, let me do this one first because it matches. The joyful, joyful, we adore thee little red framed bird print. I just love that. And I put up different pictures. Um, I put up different pictures and change out my pictures and stuff. But this was, or this is, I keep saying was, six and a quarter, a little over six and a quarter by six and a quarter. It is $8 for this frame picture, number 35. $8, number 35. And do you have anything else to show? Um, yeah. Okay. I have still got this little um, Houston Harvest teapot, like the one that you had with Slick Santa hiding here in the corner. Um, mm -hmm. It does have a little tiny chip under the lid where nobody can see it. And it would be really cute with a, with a plant in it. And that is $4, number 60. And I still have this sweet girl, the spool porcelain angel broken winged bird and she does ring she is also four dollars number 61 and I had um, the women's Christmas book with the beautiful pictures in it from 1995, but it's about Victorian Christmas. It gives recipes and Christmas songs and tells you how to make different ornaments. And there's places for you to write notes about things that you've done or would like to do. Um, that is also $4. That is number 52. And here. The last thing I have is the um, Terry Redland tin for all of your sweet treats. Yum. That is also $4, number 40. And I this is Darlene for number 52. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and so what's left, <clears throat> I had the silk embroidered handkerchief that was um, with the Santa. It was a running theme. He had Holly and Berry. But it is a 10 by 10 silk white handkerchief with the trimming on it. Trimming on it. Um, and it is $10 number nine for the handkerchief. I just thought that was so sweet. And I had the Don Noel mini cup and saucer ornament. It is signed on the bottom. It's upside down, so that's why y'all can't read it. 
There is something in there that may be in French, but I don't know. And I love the little designs there. It looks like it has some roses and blue bows, but it, it is a substantial, it's a bigger one than the other one, um, but it is a beautiful little teacup. And it is, I'll tell you the dimensions again, just in case you missed it. It's about four inches wide and it's about two and a half inches tall. And it is $8 number 24, $8 number 24 for the teacup and saucer ornament. Let me finish my sentence. Um, then I had the Hanukkah book from 1972. Um, and it was an activity game for an um, activities, games and stories about Hanukkah and things like the Hanukkah menorah prayers, and it is in Hebrew as well. So I just thought this was a really great book, y'all. And it has, it even has a uh, play, I think. I'm a Hanukkah poet. Does it so, say how, how old that book is for? Like ages? Um, what it says is fun and learning about Hanukkah. And it says... 1972. I'm going to say that it's not for little, little kids um, only because they have like a, I mean, unless you read it to him, there's a good bit of reading in that. Um, like, so that's for chapter book readers. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be for your, I would even say like fourth, fifth and above, you know, because they're, I mean, those are hard words, but I mean, if they're learning Hebrew or, um, I just think it's hard. Well, I teach the littles when I taught, I taught the littles, um, but there's songs and jigsaw puzzles and all kinds of stuff. It was $7. I liked it for the graphics number 34, $7 number 34, but it does have the actual stories in there. Um, and the accounts and explains why there are eight candles um, the miracle that happened, um, olives and olive oil, that kind of thing. So I did think it was a cool book, but the, it was $7 number 34. Um, and then I had the two records. I'm going to show both the records and then I'll show the tablecloth. The first record that I had was Santa sack of Christmas songs. And I, again, thought this was a beautiful graphic for a backdrop. But it does have the record in there. Um, it does not have a sleeve, but it does have the record in there. And there were no scratches or anything on that record. Now, it does not have a sleeve. The other one has a sleeve. Um, and this, this one is intact. Um, and it is a 1987 musical collection. And that is $5 number 23. $5 number 23 and the other record, my favorite <laughs> Christmas is for the family. There it is. Y'all, is that not hysterical? But it, it does the, now this jacket is a little bit torn, but well, a lot, a lot torn. It's just hanging on, but they, the record is in a sleeve. And again, there is, thank you, Miss Darlene. There is nothing wrong with the album itself. So, I mean, I just cannot get over this. This is hysterical. That one was, num that was $5, number 10. $5, number 10. And I see Miss uh, Darlene for number 23, the Santa sack of Christmas songs. I just think that is hysterical. All right. And then the last thing that I have is the, and Miss Sue, I see that you picked this up. Is this not hysterical? Look at mom's face. Look at dad's face. They are not the same faces. <laughs> we determined that they were not the same faces. Okay, Miss Sue, I'll get that to you. Thank you. Uh, I just thought that that was too funny. And the last thing that I had, let me put these over here. 
The last thing that I had, y'all, was it was a bigger item. It was a 38 by 59. I did too. I loved it, Sue. When I saw it, I was crying laughing in the store. Um, it was a 38 by 59. It is almost like a canvas feel to it, but it is red and white snowflakes. It is very big. It's not 100, but it is 38 by 59. So this is... I don't know if you can see that. That's folded in half. And then this is folded in half. Um, but it is a canvas type of material. It says it's cotton, but it has a very canvas feel to it. And with that, you get a red tea towel with the snowflakes. That set together is $15, number eight. $15, number eight for that set. And I think that does it for both of us, correct? I'm done. Yep. You're done. I'm done. I think it went well. I think that we've had fun with our friends today. Um, Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. We didn't have any major technology issues with all of the storms and everything, which we were really um, praying about because that was going to be a disaster if it happened. But I want to thank everyone for coming again. Beth from Dragonfly Attic has a YouTube and an Instagram. If you bought something or claimed something from her today, make sure that you email her at her email address that's over there. If you claim something from me today, make sure that you um, email me below. I am having a live sale Monday that is jewelry, all jewelry. And it is going to be with Dolores, Miss Dam Jewelry from the UK. And she has sent me a box. And if we had more time, I would show it. But I'm going to do a sneak peek to Don't Tell Dolores. Um, but I'm going to show some of her jewelry because it is amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to step up my game. She's got some handmade jewelry pieces, curated jewelry pieces, and then vintage jewelry pieces in there. So... Um, make sure that you guys come for that sale as well. And Beth, what do you have coming up? I know you just opened a booth, so you're really I did. I just opened a booth, so I, a lot of filling the booth. <laughs> just a lot of filling it before Christmas, right? Yeah. So make sure that you are giving this video a thumbs up or this sale a thumbs up before you leave today. Of course, we would both love for you to subscribe to our channels. If you are not, it does... Uh, help our channels grow and um, it's free. So until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.